Hello viewers, welcome to Ajado Math Class. Today I will be explaining on how students can improve on mathematics. Don't forget that this video is brought to you by Ajado Math Class. Let me just take you down through the meaning of mathematics. As a lover of mathematics, we need to know that mathematics is an essential skill for many academic and professional fields. In this presentation, we will cover practical tips for improving your performance in mathematics. Oftentimes, students ask that why is mathematics so important? And I'm giving you these three points. The first one is that math is so much important in problem solving. Math requires critical thinking and process orientation which can help you solve problems in both your academic and professional life. One of the major importance of math in this regard is that math improves your level of reasoning to the extent that is not only in the academic world and also this can be extended to your world, to your personal life in solving some, um, some difficult tasks. Secondly, in career advancement, many high paying jobs require a strong foundation in mathematics which can help you get ahead in your career. For instance, when we talk about the IT world, like we know the IT sector is one of the most leading sector in the, in the world. So mathematics is one of the bedrock or the foundation of the IT. This requires the programming skills. This is so much important to the extent that having this basic knowledge of mathematics is going to help you try off in this sector. Also, in the engineering, the foundation of mathematics engineering is mathematics. Thirdly, the lifelong learning. Improving your math skills can enrich your life and open up opportunities for personal growth and development. Oftentimes, students ask, how can we identify our strength and weakness? As this is one of the major uh, important, uh, important um, aspect in which you really need to know. The first is that you need to know how to evaluate your performance. Reviewing your test and own work scores to find the areas of strength and weakness. With this, you're going to know the subject in which you are doing well and also the, sub, uh, the topic in which you are not doing well. Evaluating your performance will help you improve on your what on your strengths and also keep you firm okay on your strengths with this you can work also on your weaknesses secondly you need to ask for feedback that is seek input for from teachers tutors and classmates on ways you can improve thirdly identify strategies experiment with study techniques until you find the ones that work best for you we are going to highlight some study techniques in which you can make use of. Here we talk about the tips for studying mathematics effectively. Number one, we need to keep good notes, just the same way you do for your biology, chemistry, physics. Keeping good notes in mathematics will help you to do what? To, to reinforce some key concepts and the topic you've been taught. Secondly, master the use of calculator. Learn to use a calculator effectively to save time and minimize errors. There are various types of calculator you can make use of. This one here is one of the basic form of calculator. We have the Casio 991. We have the E-series of the Casio. We have T184, T183. This is used for the graphing. Learn how to use this calculator. It is going to save time and minimize your errors. Thirdly, use your textbook wisely. Read the textbook before class, take notes on new materials and reread sections as needed. One of the major reasons why students are given the syllabus before the commencement of the semester or of the term is for the student to read ahead of the class. And as a very good student, you need to consult as many textbooks as possible. Do not limit your reading to only the recommended textbooks in your class. Try to make your own research 
download as many textbooks as possible, buy as many textbooks as possible, with this is going to improve your learning system. Also, get help when you need it. You can learn mathematics by yourself. You need to learn with people. Meet with a teacher or a tutor if you are struggling with a particular topic or concept. This is very important. Also, practicing consistently. How do you practice consistently? You need to learn how to make use of the complete practice problem. Practice problem that reinforce concept from class and challenge you to think creatively. The more you practice question, the more you mastered a particular topic in mathematics. Consistent practicing of questions helps a lot in learning. Also, set goals and time yourself. One of the things a student of knowledge of mathematics needs to do is how to work with time. Like I used to tell my students, timing is part of examination. So challenge yourself with timed exercise and track your progress over time. Also, study in groups. Work with your peers to solve problems, share insight and learn new strategies. For every math problem, there are several ways of tackling it. So once you learn or you study in groups, you'll be able to learn different ways of solving a particular problem. And this is going to um, make you learn faster. Solving math problems step by step. This is one of the aspects a student of knowledge need to focus on. Mathematics is the knowledge that requires you to be very patient. You don't just move from the beginning and just go straight to the final answer. With this, you are going to commit a lot of errors. So read problem carefully. Reading problem carefully, understanding the problem shows that you are 50% done. Once you don't understand a particular problem in mathematics, then there's high probability that you are going to get the question wrong. So take your time to understand what the problem. So understand exactly what the problem is asking before you begin. Secondly, assign variables. This is very much important when you talk about problems involving um, like what problems. So choose a letter to represent the unknown quantity and translate the problem into an equation. Thirdly, solve the equation. Once you are able to do this, you understand the question, you are able to assign variable to the unknown quantity, then you can use algebraic techniques to isolate the variables and solve for its value. And part of what you really need for you to improve yourself is to review past exam papers. There are times whereby once, when you have studied and you are very confident of yourself, don't just go straight to the exam or try to practice with what with past exam papers. When you want to practice with past exam papers, there are four and three things you need to take note of. The first is the time management, like I mentioned in the previous slide. Practice the ex past exam papers using the same time stipulated. Okay, practice answering questions under exam condition to improve time management. Secondly, question types. Familiarize yourself with the exam format and types of questions that are likely to come up. Common mistakes. Identify common mistakes that were made in past papers to avoid them in future exams. So you can achieve this, you can achieve perfection by practicing questions under the exam condition, familiarizing yourself with the exam formats, and solving as many questions as possible. Also, using online resources to improve your skills. One of the online resources I didn't mention here is Ajade Math Class. With this YouTube channel, this is going to improve your learning. There are a lot of videos in which are uploaded. You can just check it on my YouTube page. This is going to help you a lot. And one of also the online resources I'm going to recommend is Khan Academy. It has free online lessons and practice problems covering a wide range of math topics. Secondly, Wolfram Alpha. 
this is a computational knowledge engine that can help you with complex equations and formulas. Thirdly, Matri. Even I personally use Matri. So an app that solves math problems step by step with clear explanation and examples. Lastly, tracking progress and celebrating success. What you really need to do is to create a goal list. Write down your math goals, both big and small. Track your progress as you achieve them. You can list out the topics you want to know. Then as you achieve them, just try to tick it. Oh, I've done this. I've successfully done this. Okay. Monitor your scores. Keep track of your grades and test scores over time to see where you are improving and where you need more work. Lastly, celebrate my sons. Take time to recognize your hard work and progress with small reward and celebrations. People might not celebrate you, but you celebrate yourself. And like I used to say, till we all succeed. Thank you very much for listening. I wish you success. And I, I am very certain if you make use of the um, point highlighted in this slide, you're going to be one of the great mathematicians. Thank you very much. Please don't forget to subscribe. Bye.